Durham Red, the ever sultry mutant with a case of vampirism. Sort of. Durham Red was born after the Atomic Wars, though she has a need for blood, much like a vampire. This is just a type of mutation she suffers. Though the trade-off for this bloodlust is increased agility, razor-sharp nails, exceptional longevity, heightened senses of smell, hearing, and sight, along with superior strength and stamina. Sadly though, despite being a mutant, her vampiric nature rendered Durham an outcast even to her mutant brethren. Living in the Milton Keynes ghetto, the slums where the mutants called home, she was alone. But the opportunity to escape that life came, and she took it with both hands. She joined the Strontium Dogs, the search-destroy bounty hunter agency for mutants. Using her incredible abilities to her advantage and reaping the monetary gains as a reward. She worked alongside and sometimes against her fellow agents, even forming a relationship with the great Johnny Alpha. Durham was a bounty hunter for years until she eventually grew tired of the life and decided to place herself in suspended animation. Centuries passed, and she lay unconscious, and the world changed, and yet still remained similar. When she woke, the Norms and the Muties were still at war. There were, however, some new alien races, but the state of Earth remained much the same. In her slumber, one thing had changed. An entire religion had been born, with her at its top. Mutants saw Durham Red as the Saint Scarlet, the saint of all mutants. One such worshipper of the saint was the very reason she was woken. Judas Harrow saw fit to raise Durham from her slumber. Much to his disappointment though, as with all idols, they are seldom what they appear when you meet them. As Durham began exploring her new world, Judas joined her and eventually she would be joined by another. This time though, by someone who attempted to murder her. Matthias, in his attempt to murder Durham Red, was bitten by her, draining some of his blood as sustenance. Matthias, unaware of what Durham was or how her mutation worked, believed that he was now afflicted with his own vampirism of sorts and must follow and abide by anything the great Saint Scarlet desires. This, in fact, is the opposite to how it works, and she merely drew blood and caused pain. Durham lived on in this new world, another thousand years or so in fact. Due to her mutation, she is extremely long-lived, and she even became the titular strontium dog in that run for a time. There is a debate over the likeness of Durham Red and Blood Rain. However, this is easily settled with the fact Durham Red was created in 1987, and Blood Rain in 2002. So have you guys heard of Durham Red? It's a character that I always enjoyed reading from a personal perspective. She led an interesting life on paper, and it's a character I would love to see in live action, as I think the right actor could really have fun with the role. Either way though, guys, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section, and if you want to see more Dread-related videos, then hit that subscribe button to stay notified of all my future content. If you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving it a like, as it does help the channel out. I've been Mr. H, and until next time, I'll catch you in the comments.